When creating a new template, you will come to this overview. You can select the source chatbot where you want to create a template from. The next step will be to select the type of template. If you want to select a bot template, this means that the entire chatbot will be copied and you can install this onto any other kind of chatbot. If you go with a subflow template, you'll be able to select all the different kinds of flows inside of your chatbot and create a template out of it. So let's say I'm only going with the upper flow. Press next step. And from here, you will get a content overview. If you have any template fields, they will display here. And you will have a content overview on the right hand side. You will see the number of steps, the custom user fields, the tags, and the subflow that you selected. If you press next, you will be able to give the template a name. You can give it a description. You can give it a template version. You can give it a cover image. And then you also have three different kinds of options. If you select publishable, this means that you allow recreating this template as a new template. So if you are creating a template for your clients and you install it on the client's page, this allows the client to create a template out of those selected flows. If you disable this, the client will not be able to recreate the template from your flows. You also have the option editable, and this allows editing of the template content. This of course can also be disabled if you want to install it for a chatbot client and you don't want the client to mess anything up. The last option will be viewing. And if you enable this, it will allow viewing the template flow design. So the person that installs this template will also be able to see how the template has been built. If you're done, you can press the top right button, create subflow template. And now you will see that the template has been successfully created. You can copy and paste the link with share this template with a permanent link, or you can go to the template overview. And if you go to the template overview itself, you will be able to give the template more info, like an overview, guidelines, and more images. But you are also able to select what kind of template link this should be. You will have a public link, and then it will be listed in the template store. You will have a shared link, and access is via a permanent link. You can also go with a one-time link, and it becomes private after the first installation, so the link will not be able to be used any longer. Or you can only set it to private. And this means it's only available for your particular workspace. Once done, press the button save and all your template updates will be saved in real time.